Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Viceroy and we're back to play some more Pumping Simulator 2. So in episode 5 of Pumping Simulator 2, we had another child. Had a customer set a car on fire, which we lost some money on because it lost uh, as one of our electrical charges. So um, let's see what happens today. So here we are, it is currently 1956, the gas station is abandoned, is it closed for the day? No it is not, now it is. Let's go home for the night. We shall see you in the morning. So here you go everybody, it's morning time, we don't have any gifts, so we're going to head over to the bazaar to buy some uh, gifts for our family to see if we can get some new employees today. So we have $279, we need three of these. We need one of these, and we only have $119 left. Right, we're going to head home and give this to the family. Oh, we can open the gas station as well while we're uh, waiting. At least we can have some customers start coming in. So here's the kids, so we'll grab some of the candy. Here you go, kid. Give names. So we're going to call... You can't change the names, unfortunately, so I can't let you guys uh, rename any of the children. Um, let's go with Poppy, because why not? Hello, Poppy. So to upgrade Poppy, because you, you can upgrade your children. So this is how much it costs to upgrade one of your children to a worker in your gas station. Ideally, we want a manager seven and a half thousand dollars. So we're not quite in a position to do that yet. But at least now that they're named, uh, we should be able to just go to go back to Poppy, and when we have the money to do it, upgrade them to a full station worker. You know, it's a family business at the end of the day, so. Um, we can give him a name as well. Uh, I don't know. Russell? <laughs> so we have two children now that we can uh, take into our employ. Here we go. Some gift. She's though happy with us. Let's head on to work. What we've got to do now is save up $7,500 and we'll have a manager to work in our station for free. Family business? It's allowed. <laughs> Here we are back at work. We have uh, quite a few customers already by the scenes of it. This W is doing their job as intended. So, Dad Escape has come up with a name for our cleaner. So let's go ahead and so Madeline is now going to be Sharon. And I do believe Romantic came up with a name for our cashier, which I'll have to check on shortly because I can't remember what it was. I, I believe Romantic, you thought that um, our cashier was a man, so <laughs> yep, they're going to have a name that uh, yeah, well, we could have whatever name they want, I suppose. But we need to order some fuel, and um, we but first we need some money to order some fuel. Only twenty-four. Is that all we've taken this morning? Twenty-four dollars. We're not going to be able to much order much fuel with that, but we shall try. Okay. Fuel. We can get take it up to there. Okay. Right, so I've just done a quick check, and Romantic requested that the cashier is now called Reginald. So say hello to Reginald, our cashier. Mm. <laughs> I know the fuel level's low. I know. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. So... Yes, we lost one of our electric charges in the last episode, which wasn't great. But we're going to try and make up some of that today, earn some more money, see if we can get one of our uh, children into our employ. Not as a free worker, as a hard worker. Who may or may not work for free. Um, so we got a hose. This is to go on the car wash. So we're still responsible for the car wash, I believe. Just uh, stick that. Oh, hang on. Right, so we have two of those. 
Just be careful that somebody doesn't steal it. AKA the thief. There we go. We finally got some fuel to get, keep us going again. How much does it cost to upgrade the title? $1,200. Okay. And the market is $1,600. Or 1650 Is nobody having fuel? Oh, they, they're coming across the pay now. Okay. We're doing the car wash yet? So Chris W, you manage it okay? You seem to be. I think you're coming here, aren't you? Yeah, electric car. Okay. No more accidents today, preferably. Doggo's barking at somebody. We may need the baseball bat. Yep, there's a thief in our midst. There we go. We got the thief. 26% fuel, so we're okay on fuel for the moment. We have a little bit of money now. Buy some fuel. There we go, full tank. We'll order some groceries as well. We're gonna make the most of that Zonoma uh, subscription we have. If we buy some cereal, we don't have a great deal of money to order stuff, but good morning. order a few things, can't we? There we go. go. Easy $46, eh? How much does it cost to upgrade this? $1,500. Oh, we have choices to make. Choices, choices, choices. Another $250. Coming in quite nicely. So, I wonder what we should upgrade next. Do we upgrade the toilet to improve the facilities that way? Do we make the market a little bit bigger? Get some more shelving in there? Ordering some more groceries? Um, I tell you what we do need to try and do is if we go into our station and station upgrades, see if we can get our workers to work a little bit faster and more on foot customers, which means we can sell more groceries because that's where the money's at. More vehicles. We're not in a position where we need more vehicles yet because we are pretty much filling this our current capacity, so we're okay with that. Chips. Chips ahoy! Chocolate. Cereal. And soda, which can go in the fridge. Nice and cold. Customers don't complain when it's nice and cold from the fridge. And cigarettes. I know they're bad for you, but they, they make money. Have a windmill over there, which means our electricity bill should be pretty decent. A cato. Salve, Kato. <laughs> oh, two cars requiring a wash. There we go. Nice, easy $100 just for washing cars. Come on, Sharon, you have work to do. This place is filthy. There's a, another mop there. Happy days. Okay, you need to serve quicker, Reginald. <laughs> Reginald. Um, right, more on foot. Yeah, we're gonna save up for the more on foot customers one. So we can sell more groceries. We'll get some more shelving in here and fill it up with more groceries. More money, more profit. Good morning. More upgrades. This is how it's gonna work. Yes, this is the plan. Okay, can I serve for a bit? It's, it's quite slow. Okay. We'll fix that, but at the moment you're quite slow. That's all Bye, you wanted. Have a great time. That's all you wanted. Okay. Morning. Okay, you can have the next one. Oh, Doggo is uh, barking at someone. Hello, thief. No free stuff for you today. Okay, let's... Uh, okay. Do we have any milk for Kato or tinned food? I don't know if we do... We have dog food. Let's feed Doggo first. And then we'll find some food for Kato. There we go, Doggo. Good Doggo. And do we have any... Yes, we have some tinned food. And fish. There we go. Kato will be most happy. And a happy Kato means happy customers because they tend to complain about, like, insects or something at the market when Kato's not doing a job. Where is it? 
Bugs. Yeah, so they complain about bugs. Elvis, you designed it very beautifully. Thank you, Elvis. Okay. Okay, okay. So all our employees currently are one-star employees, so they're not the most amazing. But they get the job done, but you can eventually upgrade them. When we have a bit of money to do so, we will. So what you can do is go into station upgrades, and then if you go down to better quality employees, you have to upgrade these. But every time you do it, you have to um, like sack and then re-employ the workers because you can see the only one starts. So you have to dismiss them and then hire them back at a, a higher skill level. Okay, so we want we have five hundred dollars. So we're gonna go more product sale. That was our fuel levels looking pretty okay at the moment. Hope we have a car to wash. There we are, forty-six dollars. Thank you very much. Okay, we have six hundred dollars again. <laughs> so we're not gonna buy new shelving yet. We're just gonna have. Fill up the shelves as best we can, but we're going to start getting more people through the door first. So, um, more shelf visits. We'll miss this one for now. Make customers walk quicker, which means they'll like practically run around the place. Yeah, let's go for that one actually. Make them quicker. Because they will like walk back to their cars and things a bit quicker. They'll walk to the store a bit quicker, which means they'll pay for things a bit quicker and get gone a bit quicker will benefit us um, we need to make sure we're keeping an eye out for people who are smoking because we really want to avoid another incident where one of our pumps or electric points go up in flames because that was painful to watch although somebody did mention in the comments that you can put them out with a hose it didn't seem like he was doing anything when I tried it but maybe I didn't try it long enough so if it does happen again hopefully not we will give that a go so the uh, automatic car wash sort of does its own thing. 2100 to upgrade. As yes, we have the money coming in quite nicely, let's uh, take over for a second. Just get these bye bye. Two customers through. Cigarettes. Okay. Good morning. So we have $511 again. How much is it for a new shelf out of curiosity? Let's just check. Um, Sonoma Station. So we want a. Very much. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Where is it? We'll get to some of these things later, but like things like cash dispensers are way out of our price range right now. And two men. <laughs> okay. So we got Dutch, room for one double shelf, uh, for two single shelves. We got room for one shelf box. We go for a shelf and we'll get one of those and we're gonna absolutely start filling the place with product soon actually we're gonna do that now go market i'm gonna buy some tin, tin tomatoes fish chips chocolate soda milk bye cigarettes bye. So a little bit more money energy drinks motor oil it's always the motor oil that pushes us over there we go so we'll order them to the office Cars waiting to be washed. Easy hundred dollars to be made right here. And my hose broke, so take this one out. And there we go. Let's carry on. There's the normal deliveries here. There's the van. So when you get to a certain point, they stop delivering on foot and they just deliver in the van, which is much better. Come on, Sharon. Station cleanliness is suffering a little bit. Here we go. Right, soda into the fridge cigarettes onto the shelf and we're gonna we need to unlock the upgrade as well which allows us to carry more we'll have to check out how much that is in a sec and tomatoes chips eventually we will organize the market properly so like certain shelves will have certain items on them but for now we just want to cram as much on here as we can to make as much money as we can Milk goes in the fridge. 
Um, shelf goes wherever we want it to go. <laughs> okay, motor oil. We only have two of those. Let's so stick that on the new shelf. Can fish. So we can start Hello. maybe pouring products over here that are non-food. Just to sort of start separating them out. Some cola goes in the fridge because people like their cold drinks cold. Same with the coffee. Okay, this place is very hot. There's not much we can do about that yet, but we will eventually buy an air conditioner. We will. Yeah, throw your rubbish on the floor. Thanks. And there's a pin right here. Hello. Okay, Ooh, more cars to wash. Another $100 to be made. Maybe we should start doing the item durability upgrades just so these things last a bit longer. There we go. Let's have a look how much they are. Um, so we want is it's emergency. Oh, these are um like if the game breaks, you can reset workers. What if resetting the workers fixes the one bug that happens in the game? I'll have to check that out. So movement speed, we can change our movement speed. And it only costs two hundred dollars, so it's not too bad. Camera quality, I, I don't see much of an issue. Uh, reason to upgrade that. Bargaining ability, trader ability, working speed. So that means like the jobs that we do ourselves are completed much quicker. Gambling I've not really looked at in the game yet. Drug dealing I've not looked at in the game yet. Master reduces tool damage. So we've already got one of those. Extra carrying. So let's go for that. That's going to be quite handy. And we'll save up a bit more. Oh, fuel level is low. I have a feeling it's empty. Oh, we're not far off empty. Okay, how much money do we have in the till? Nice. A decent amount to order some more fuel in. Not quite full, but a decent amount. Hello. Hello. <sighs> Who's beeping? I have a cleaner. I'm cleaning the place myself. But whatever we need to do to have a successful business, eh? Here's the fuel truck. We're going to smash some more groceries on the shelves soon when we have the money. Just gotta make sure that at the end of the day we have enough money to pay our employees or they'll all walk off the job. But we could just re-employ them tomorrow at uh, a higher rating. If we did that upgrade. What about a car wash? Don't need to do anything with that. So we are all very close to empty, but not quite there. So by the time this fuel truck comes along, we should be fine. There we go. We have 73% fuel in the tank now. We're good. $119. Nice. We have some of these car to wash. You can see in the symbols in the bottom left corner, it gives you an indicator of what kind of jobs you have to do or that are waiting to be done. We have employees to cover these jobs. Doesn't really matter so much, but like with the car wash one, the, the hand wash, uh, we do need to keep an eye on that because it's only us currently doing it. Although you can, if you want to, employ somebody to do that. Um, washer whose default name is Oscar, but of course can be changed. The builder one I've never tried in the game before, but I, I want to do things like that manually. I mean, maybe I'm getting it, the complete wrong idea about how it works, but I know how much money I'm like prepared to spend on certain things, if that makes sense. So I wouldn't want a builder to come in, like upgrade this, I'm gonna upgrade that, and spend all the money when we're about to use it for something else, which has happened before. Like the manager is a similar sort of thing, but there's controls with the manager. There might very well be controls with the builder too, but we'll have to see. When we got a bit more money to play with, we'll, um, we'll try hiring a builder and see what happens. Okay, so we need more products now. We're up to $544. Let's see how much we need to pay our workers. So as long as we got $243 at 6 o'clock, we're okay. So if we go to Hello. Sonoma, we're going to buy some more supplies. We're going to buy some motor oil. We're going to buy some water. Uh, filter coffee, detergent, dog food, lighter fluid. We're going to buy as many groceries, uh, groceries as we can for $500. Chocolate milk. Hello. Um, wine bye bye and soda water here we are order them to the office hello hello she's unhappy for some reason um there are definitely bugs in the market but we fed Kato, so i don't know why we're getting those reviews and most of these reviews are four stars now which means we, our rating might go up soon hello oh, there's a car waiting
So if you all are enjoying these videos in the comments, please feel free to hit a like button and subscribe. And if you'd like to see me do a live stream episode on this game, let me know in the comments as well and we'll see what we can do. Because uh, the next episode could be a live stream. And then you get to choose names and things live. That was not how you throw things. That's how you throw things. Cargo truck is here. Okay. Now we can carry motor oil. And more stuff, of course. Dog food. Chocolate milk in the fridge. There's a finite amount uh, of room in the fridge, but it tends to be quite decent to be fair once you've upgraded it past that first level. Uh, lighter fluid. I go over here with the, the non foodie stuffs. We don't have enough room in the fridge for the wine. I feel like we would have made probably the most money from that. Like detergent, filter coffee. Who doesn't enjoy a good filter coffee? And wine. Oh, we had enough room because she bought some things for uh, all the wine. Nice. This place is very hot. I know this. There's nothing I can do about it at the moment, but I'm working on it. I have two cars to wash for. $100, please, or thereabouts. Not far off. Like $46 per car. Which I think, because we're doing the job ourselves, if we go into player upgrades and then do... Um, oh, no, it's only sat at the cash register. Okay. Right, movement speed 200. Should we see if we can move a bit quicker? Meow. Does that feel any quicker, do you? Yeah, it does feel a bit quicker, actually. $520 to collect there. Nice. Beep. Beep. Bye, have a great time. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I have quite a few customers here. It is 5 o'clock, so it's not long before we pay our employees, which is fine. We have more than enough. So, one handy tip for you all. Upgrade your bins because it increases the capacity. So now that instead of being able to hold 30, uh, 15, sorry, um, pieces of trash, this can now hold 30. Very good upgrade, which means you're not emptying them as often. We need fuel. Uh, so if we just fill that, so we can, we couldn't really afford to do that. Hello, we need to make some hello. money a bit quick for the wages. <laughs> um, 203. How much do we need for wages? It wasn't far off 200, was it? 243. Oh, we'll be fine before six o'clock. I'll just serve because it'd be quicker. Well, they spend okay. a nicer sum of money. There we are. We can cover the wages now. We're good. Okay. See, two items, $35. Oh. See, it's definitely worth doing groceries. Thank you. No problem. You're quite welcome. Come again to Viceroy's Guess and Go. Okay. See how quickly we got up to $547 there? I know a lot of that was fuel Bye, sales. However, groceries helped a fair bit towards that. But imagine, like, that's just with this amount of groceries. Imagine if we had a full market. I use the fuel track because we are not empty, but we're in far off. There we go. So our fuel tank is full. And to upgrade the fuel tank, just use the hammer. It costs $750 for the first upgrade. Oh, no. They did it again. No. <laughs> Oh, good. We put it out. Ah, oh. it saved our charging station, but the durability is only 35%. How do I fix it? $552 to repair. Are you serious? Ah, oh. <laughs> stupid smokers. Okay, um, we have bills to pay as well. So 29 on electric, 341 on water. So we'll have to pay those. Otherwise, we'll have neither tomorrow. So if we, um, close the station the ones who are currently here will still get served it's fine but no, we're, uh, we're not gonna leave them in the lurch I'm gonna go home now you lot do what you need to do definitely don't have enough money for the family to work here today so let's see what we do tomorrow we're gonna earn enough money to buy ourselves a family manager 
Good morning. It is winter, everybody, which means everybody at the gas station today is going to be cold. <laughs> Does look quite pretty. We probably should open the station. There we go. There's people here for car washes. In the snow. I mean, it is a thing. You need to keep your car clean. My, my one in real life still hasn't been washed. I, I really need to do it. There's no excuse. It's just, I'm just being lazy at this point. <laughs> Okay, so we have $174 in the till. We have $396 in our actual account. Let's order in some, uh, let's order in some motor oil. See how much, we'll get as much motor oil as we can. Okay. There we go. So we'll fill the shelf with motor oil. It does sell quite well and it's worth a decent amount of money. So we have somebody waiting in the shop. So I think what we should do next is potentially... Okay, we should upgrade that shelf. It doesn't increase the capacity, but it just looks a bit better. I'm not sure exactly. It, might, it might, might be a durability thing. Oh, we need to repair the, um, the electric point as well today before somebody else starts a fire and we end up losing it altogether. I'd rather pay to repair it than to replace it. I don't know how much money we get for the basic car wash. Come one, come all, spend your money at Viceroy's Gas and Go. Which is the official name of the gas station. Oh, that's not a fuel truck. What was I waiting for a fuel truck? <laughs> oh, no, Santa's back. All right, we need to save up money to repair that charging point. Durability is okay. Bins are okay. I do need to put a trash can over here. Okay, I think we may need to order a uh, trash delivery, possibly. I mean, oh, no. it's not really that full, but we'll call one in anyway. Come on, everybody. Come get your car wash, easy money. I mean, great service. I mean, I do a good job, but... Right, okie dokie dokie. Here's the trash collector. So we're what we're gonna do now is save up to repair that charging point. I think that's what we're gonna do next. And maybe build a basic office. $600 to repair the office. Okay, I think that's a... Um, a good shout, we probably should do that. Or, do we skip the office for now and see how much it is to get this repair ramp going? $600 as well, we could do that, see? And that's another source of potential income. Yeah, I think we'll repair the charge point and then after that we will repair the repair point. Or do we risk it? Do the repair point first to get more income, which means we'll be able to uh, do more things quicker, including repair this. Just need a bit of manager see they could keep an eye on the smoking. Just to make sure, because we don't want another fire. Another, another fire. Nope, we're good. We went for old car wash. Nope. Right, let's do it. We're going to have a repair ramp. Ta-da! We can now repair motor vehicles. You can close them. Oh, you can close. Okay. 1800 for the next one. So, just wait for somebody now to decide their car needs a tire change. Because I think that's what you do on the repair ramp, is just tire changes. Um, so, okay. we are going... Oh, no, you're going to the wash. Okay. Um, I'm going to serve for a second. Okay. Second, I know I'm paying her and then doing my job myself, but it's a bit quicker just to get a couple of uh, dollars okay. through the door. A little bit quicker that we can use. Motor oil. $62 for two bye bottles bye. of motor oil. Good. Nice. Hmm. Definitely worth stocking the motor oil. See how uh, popular it is. Okay, car one in a wash. You know, give you a couple of minutes and we'll have people start using the repair ramp, hopefully. It's another source of income. So our direct responsibilities then, apart from helping Sharon with the cleaning, which she seems to be on top of at the moment, is um, stock in the market, repairing vehicles and washing vehicles. So, you know, for a small business, I think that's okay. 
Of course, the more money we get, the more employees we can hire, which means the less we have to do. This is cleaning very slowly, isn't it? Yeah, how's our fuel situation looking? Not terrible. Not terrible. So there's some more fuel. Okay. Let's fill the tank. Don't go worry about it for a little while then, do we? Come on, everybody. Somebody must need a car repair. Best in the business. So if you'd. I think we can buy to uh, add to the station. Oh yes, yeah, so I thought air freshener. How is this uh, place looking? Ooh, a little bit smelly. Let's unsmell it. Good job, Reginald. Keep it up. This place smells bad. Please don't use the toilet when I'm... No! No, 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 no. I do not want to see that. <laughs> nope. How is this place? This place doesn't smell of anything good. Are we going to get our first repair cut? <gasps> we do have our first repair customer. But it didn't say it on the bottom of the screen. That's weird. Okay, so we'll take the fuel delivery. And then we will sort out the repair job. Okay, so repair. Two on a go. Bzzzt. Take all these out. Take the tire off. New tire on. And you can, of course, hire a mechanic to do this as well. So there we go. How much money do we get for doing that? So car wash was $46, $50, so not a massive amount, but then again, it was only a new tire, so probably a fair price. Maybe about $75 would have been better. Okay, that's not being very effective for some reason. It's because I said the car wash was easy money, and it's like, is it? Okay, we're going to make it take longer now. <laughs> We're a four-star gas station! Yay! With hard work and perseverance, everything pays off. You can do it if you dream it. You can do it if you try. That's my pep talk for the day. You're welcome. We're we looking here. $495. Okay. Nice up to 907 which now we can repair this thing so it doesn't break on us. We repair when it's being used we certainly can like brand new look at that okay so next then i'm thinking oh we got another two jobs over here to do that's not what i was thinking but this one's uh, an easy wash but it seems it's not very dirty another tire to do okay so we're gonna do some upgrades i think would be a good idea next There we go. Um, so that's a look what player upgrades we got. Now, do we increase our movement speed or bargaining ability? Um, don't we need that yet? Trader ability, mm, it's not worth $400, I don't think, at this moment in time. Auto dealer, master, extra carrying, or do we upgrade our workers? Station upgrades. Um, could increase the fuel tank capacity, that might help. We have $200 left, so we could work a speed, more vehicles. I think we should probably go for um, more on-foot customers as another upgrade. I feel like that, oh, another car to repair. I feel like that'd be a good idea. Because the more customers we gain, the more groceries we can sell. These totally line up. Just pretend they line up with this. <laughs> are we looking on fuel? We are at 65%. Good morning. $316. Nice. Okay. So station. Station upgrades. More on foot customers. Yes, please. We will do the more shelf visits one as well at some point because the more shelves we have, the more they can buy, the more money we can make. Well, it's a nice car. Now we're a four-star gas station. Look, you got the uh, the nice car starting to show up. Do they spend more money? I don't know exactly, but we'll find out. 
Yeah, nobody's smoking there. That's all good. Um, Chris W was falling asleep. So um, we'll just uh, I'll just do this for a minute for him. Chris has had a hard day, you see. There we go. Is there a thief? I feel like there's a thief. There is a thief. And I've managed to grab a box of toilet paper. Really? Toilet paper? Okay, what if we put this in our stores? Because when it goes in the warehouse, they can no longer take it. A load of a shelf in there as well to keep things a bit more organized. Somebody peeping. I think somebody's ready to go. We'll uh, sort them out in a sec. Let's clean this first so they can get going. There we go. Right. What's the issue? Who wants to leave? I can't. Ah, you. Okay. So you're full. Come on, Chris W. Wakey, wakey. You're ready to go. You've been filled? Yes, you have. You've been filled. Yes, you have. Okay. Cat have just had some fusses. $213. Good morning. Hmm. $706. So now we can afford to do another upgrade. What do we upgrade for $600? Because you got the office. But I feel like that's not going to do much for us at this moment in time. So not the office. Oh, hang on. We can buy some uh, shelving. Let's have a look. Uh, we want to get box shelf. But only one. And we'll get some groceries as well, I feel. So we'll get some more cereal, chocolate, glass cleaner, iced coffee, motor oil sandwiches, noodles. Um, not going to get much more, so let's do that. Oops, somebody wants a repair. Oh, two tires. So that's $100 on this one. Nice. I think when you do like the player upgrade, so you do your job quicker as well. Things like this will be quicker to do. That's the one done. Let me go the other side, do the other one. So I'm guessing it's like $50 per tire. And then when we upgrade the repair ramp, maybe it charges more. We got a car wanting to wash. Oh, the money's rolling in now, folks. Even though we don't actually have anything in the bank, we're, we're, we'll get there. Two wanting to wash. Police are here for a spot check. Nothing to hide, so you carry on. There we go, let's wash you. Nearly there. Cargo trucks here, so we now have lots of stuff to sell. Nice. That was a long wash. Okay. Now we can carry three things because he did the upgrade. So energy drinks in there. Noodles on the shelf here. Chocolate on the shelf here. Cereal. Cold coffee in the refrigerator. Sandwiches on the shelf because they don't benefit from being refrigerated. Hmm. Alright, Santa, calm down. Um, oh, box shelf, okay. Put this in the warehouse a sec then. Did we buy four? I don't think we bought four. Um, that, that may have been a glitch, because we bought one, but because we're holding multiple items, <laughs> it, it, it's just less per, like, four down. <laughs> Um, that was a little bit of an exploit. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Hmm. So I went for the developer to iron out, I suppose. Motor oil. See, we sold out of motor oil. That's how popular it is. All gone. Glass cleaner. Oh, we need to grab that milk. So if you hold the shelf, go to the milk. There we go. And the fridge. Wait, is canned tomato on that shelf? Is it? Okay. Oh, there's no canned tomatoes on the shelf. Right, mob then can go in storage now.
There we go. Toilet paper. Yeah. Things are coming together. Okay. So we're about to hit our first thousand dollars made, everybody. This is a proud moment for us all. And tomatoes. Hello. Hey. So close. So close. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. How much was it to upgrade the bog? I mean the toilet. 1,200. We could do that. Could do that. Hello. Yes, uh, hello. Okay. Oh, fuel level. Fuel level. Oh, okay, we're okay. Oh, we're over a thousand dollars, everybody. We, well, we were. <laughs> Not anymore, but we were. Okay. We just filled the fuel tank, and we still have six hundred and ten dollars. Very much. You're quite welcome. So I'm thinking next we upgrade the toilets. Fuel delivery, which will be okay on the fuel at the moment, if they think, because you can still hear the pump squirting. Oh no, we're not. It's empty. There we go. Right, I think if we order. Um, so if we order another shelf. We'll order another shelf, and we'll order some more supplies. So let's order some ketchup, because we haven't ordered any of that in yet. Jalapeno can, detergent, Hello. coffee, beans, Hello. lighter fluid, dog food. Um, and stock, granola bar, hazelnut bar, shrimp soup, and some wine. Yeah, that seems like a good one. So okay. the shrimp, um, is that meant to be refrigerated? Hello. I think the shrimp soup is, yeah, it's a uh, fridge item. Hello. So you can tell by going bye to, bye. see the little um, frost icon next to him? That means that it needs to be refrigerated. Hello. Can we buy another uh, till? Or cash register, as it's called, then. <laughs> Yeah, no, so the market isn't big enough yet. So maybe we upgrade the market. 16.50. Sounds a lot, but I feel like it won't take us long to get there. Well, there's a bit of a queue forming. Sorry, Reginald, I'm just going to take over for a sec. Okay. So three groceries, $73. As easy as that. Okay, Santa didn't. Santa never buys a lot. Merry Christmas. Okay. Let's get rid of this queue. Nest quit. Two bought uh, okay. fuel and cereal. Nice. Okay. Okay. There we go. Hello. Oh, deliveries. Oh, here. Um, so where is the shelf? Probably a good thing to put on first. Shelf. There we are. Hello. Canned beans. Um... <laughs> Ketchup. I feel like they're gonna be quite popular. Gonna be popular. Okay, three things now. Mustard. Bye, have a great time. Jalapeno cans. Wine goes in the fridge. Shrimp soup goes in the fridge. Chicken stock goes in the fridge. But lucky picking all three uh, refrigerated items up. Lighter fluid. Dog food. Hey. <laughs> Filter coffee. Let's just stick hey. that there. That's fine. Hope we have some washing and repairs to do. Stick these last things on the shelf. Nola bar. <laughs> Grab the money and leave the cashier to it. So we're gonna do the car washing first. Just because they're a bit quicker most of the time. Oh, this is gonna be one of those stubborn ones. I don't understand why some of these take longer than others. Maybe there is like a a level of dirtiness of the cars. And some genuinely take longer for that reason. Couldn't tell ya. Tire off, tire on. 
we're almost back up to a thousand dollars already left i think today we might be able to upgrade our mart to the next level i think we're going to be in a position to do that this is 1650 but i think we'll have the money to do it we're so close and it's only 10 to 5 as long as we've got enough money to pay the workers they're laughing what we could do is buy the upgrade to make them a bit quicker so that they get to uh what's a thousand dollars though Ooh, maybe we'll leave that till after the market upgrade we need a no smoking sign for by the electric points don't we because uh we have one there and it seems to work so that's a good idea i know it means taking us slightly further away from our market upgrade goal but if it saves us one of these going up in flames worth it we're almost there folks we're almost at market level two we have car to repair this another well oh, they want two wheels changed this is another hundred dollars we're almost there and it is night time all right let's put this right by our electric point hey no smoking looks pretty doesn't it the snow and the nice dark sky or a romantic light from the vending machine the refrigerator hey bye as yes, we paid our wages i believe and we now have enough money to upgrade the market <laughs> welcome to the new market so we stuck over there <laughs> We have to clean up because we just upgraded, it becomes dirty. Which makes sense, I mean, if you've had work done in real life, it, you know, that happens. So we need to order some uh, more lighting. Hello! Hmm, ceiling lamp. Just get one of those for now. Okay, let's close the station. Filled, we have 36%. That's, that's not too bad. We can we can go until tomorrow. Okay. Here we go. Our upgraded market, folks. Just in time for the end of day 10. Is our Zanoma delivery? What a serene scene. Ceiling lamp. I like you kind of get a preview as well of what it's going to do. There we go. Nice and bright now. Okay. And there we are. So I think we'll leave it there. The end of day 10, we have managed to upgrade the market and we've uh, renamed two of our children in anticipation of bringing them into the family business when we can afford to. So uh, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to hit that like button and the subscribe button for more content on Pumping Simulator 2 and other simulator games that I come across. Thank you very much and bye for now.